New at 530, some progress for the cashless tolls at the Grand Island Bridges. Construction to bring them to the island is picking up. Yep, and electrical crews, they have been doing work for the past couple of weeks now. And today, there was a major delivery. Channel 2's Jeff Preval shows us what's going on there and what you need to know about the cashless tolling system when it becomes operational. Get this, next month. Now standing at the North Grand Island Bridge on the 190 southbound, the actual gantry that will become operational when Grand Island tolls go cashless. This is what drivers will go under to pay their toll. There's been a lot of electrical work done in recent weeks near the toll plazas, all in preparation for the switch. A spokesperson for the Thruway Authority says a second gantry is expected to arrive later this week and be installed just north of the South Grand Island Bridge, where you see this construction crew. Senator Chris Jacobs has been following the cashless tolling project. I actually spoke last week with the contractor that's doing the work uh, with the installation process, and it seems like they're moving well. The Thruway Authority says cashless tolling on the island is expected to become operational between mid to late March. Once this happens, according to the Thruway Authority, drivers for a brief period of time will go through the old toll plazas, which will not be operational, and then go through the new tolls. Drivers with Easy Pass will have their accounts debited. Drivers without Easy Pass will get a bill in the mail. Shortly thereafter, we've been told the old barriers will come down. What do you think that drivers and, and residents of Western New York should know most about this project? Well, I think that uh, this is a, a, a win. Certainly, we've heard over the years that I think people have made decisions not to locate on the island or uh, because of the uh, challenges of the tolls. The state says 65,000 drivers on average use the Grand Island bridges every day. Jacobs and other elected officials hope cashless tolls not only reduces congestion and pollution, but also attracts businesses to Grand Island. Now we did ask the thruway for a total cost of the project, but that information wasn't available because today's a holiday and officers are closed. Now the state is looking to put cashless tolls on the entire thruway by the end of 2020. Williamsville is part of that project. Once that happens, New York will join other states like Florida, Texas and Massachusetts that already have cashless tolling. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.